I'm going to show you guys kind of an idea of how we install our compost toilet. It's going to be the same for pretty much any RV. Um, once you pop your old toilet off, you're going to see like this black ring, which this is where your, your other toilet fits. This is where your black water tank is. You'll have to buy a three inch um, expansion plug from Lowe's or Home Depot. And then you just put the expansion plug down in there and then tighten it up. That way it just seals off your black water tank. So now your black water tank is basically the only thing your black water tank is doing is catching your sink water. So and that blocks everything off and then you'll have to make like a little um, just a little wood cut out because I think this lip of this is about a quarter inch thick of this black um, your grommet here. So to have your toilet set flush you have to make a little spacer to mount all of your um, hardware on for your toilet. So just make that little spacer. I just made a little diagram and just cut it out. On ours, it made more sense to root the um, exhaust fan hose through here than it was the back wall because your black water tank pipe is actually in this wall. And we'll sh I'll show you um, just a second. I took the wall off in the bedroom so you can see how we kind of rooted it. But what you need to do is you can go to um, Lowe's and get a, um, it's just a computer desk. Um, round fitting that goes in a computer desk or any type of desk you can get them at like the cabinet section and just get a hole saw bit I think it was like an inch and a half um, hole saw bit drill you a straight hole put your um, grommet in there that's just so it makes it look real nice and neat and then um, also run your 12 volt power supply in here as well um, I actually ran my 12 volt power off of the breaker box which is located under the refrigerator um, when an Airstream comes, it comes with like a bunch of extra non-used um, fuses. So I just ran a hot wire and a ground wire out of the breaker box and fished it back under the uh, refrigerator. And the way you can get to it is when you take this seat off, um, you'll go to where the hot water heater is and you can get like a, um, I just use like a clothes hanger. And there's a panel under the sink. If you take this panel off, you'll be able to see in behind the refrigerator. This is just four screws that hold this on. And then um, you could just fish your wire up through there. And then you can grab it from this side and then go around the back and show you where it hooks in. The toilet basically just sits on the stand. hose hooks up and then just your 112 volt connection and that's pretty much it I mean it's there it's awesome so this is your black pipe this is the wall that um, is normally there all it is is five screws that hold it on there's three or four on this side and two on the other side and this wall will just lay over then you can gain access to your black water um, pipe this is your one pipe coming from your sink and then this is your main um, black water vent pipe coming up. You could put your vent on the lower section of the hose, but then you're going to have fan air blowing back into your sink. So it makes more sense to put it on the top. So what we did is we just bought um, it's an inch and a half um, rubber tee. So this thing is just flexible rubber. Um, just cut it with a, um, with a PVC saw and then just put it in. It's got hose clamps on it, clamps everything together. And as you can see, the, um, the vent fan comes straight to it. And then that way your vent and everything is above your sink because you don't want any of your vent blowing back through your sink. This way it'll blow straight out of the top, straight out of the roof. And um, it's a pretty straightforward, simple install. Um, there was no real information on it though online. So I just got in here and started ripping stuff apart. So it's, but Really, honestly, on a scale of one to ten, it's maybe um, a three, two, yeah, three to a five or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's more work putting the cocoa core in the toilet than it is installing it. I mean, honestly, <laughs> yeah, we use cocoa core. Um, we just buy it in the, um, we buy ours in little one pound bricks, and then it usually takes well, one and a half bricks to fill it all the way up. You could just buy it on Amazon. It's really cheap. Uh, we use cocoa core though. Um, you can use like peat moss. People use peat moss or. Um, other stuff, but cocoa core is a little bit more sustainable mm -hmm. where it takes a really long time for peat moss to grow 
yeah. Coco Core is mm -hmm. like everywhere, you know. So mm -hmm. how long does it take you guys till you have to dump? Um, you say every sixty to eighty times. So it just depends on how much you use it. Honestly, I mean, if we're at a campground or something, we we'll <coughs> use their facility some. Or if you don't feel like going, then we we'll use ours. So. Um, it's been about three we've, or four we've times had it a for year? eight. We've had it for eight months, and we've dumped it three, three times. Oh wow! That's yeah, awesome. in eight months. Yeah. So three times in eight months. So mm -hmm. it's real. I mean, it's awesome because you don't have to use any water and yeah. that kind yeah. of stuff. So that's awesome. We love it. Ooh.